Hey, what's up guys? So it finally finished. Uh, it actually crashed the first time I ran it. Uh, it was because I remember those images I said, try to copy them locally to your C drive or D drive instead of having it on a network share. Uh, that was it. Um, it just, uh, drone to map for some reason crashed, uh, probably with like, there was a latency issue. It was, uh, taking too long for the image to come from the network would be my guess. Um, so, so lesson learned just, just, uh, all your working images, keep them on your uh, local drives is, would be my recommendation. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like when it, when it finishes. Uh, you can see like all these different imagery products got added to the map. Um, so we have imagery, ortho mosaics, dems, uh, point clouds, stuff like that. Um, and I wanted to show you this processing log. So sometimes like when it's processing, it'll be stuck on a step and you won't be sure what's happening. So you can just click on this log up here and it'll show you uh, step by step like what's going on here. Um, so if you're uh, interested and curious like what it's doing, just check out that log. Um, but yeah, let's just inspect this and take a little look. Uh, I'm gonna take off the project data, turn it off uh, and collapse it actually. Um, and let's turn off 3D products, turn that off and let's just take a look at the ortho mosaic that got created. So. You can see this is pretty high quality. I think I flew this at like 200 feet. So um, the resolution's looking really good. Uh, so yeah, I mean, pretty sweet. Uh, let's take a look at the the dem. It's underneath the imagery product, so I turned that off. And yeah, so we have a nice dem. Um, that's awesome. Uh, all right, let's take a look at the 3D stuff now. So. Um, drone to map knows to uh, make a 3D map because in order to view stuff in 3D, you need something called a scene layer. Um, so this is all being displayed in the scene. So let's turn off project data, turn off the point cloud, turn off the dem products, and I'm going to turn off the elevation surfaces. And here we go. Here's our mesh. And um, you remember how I said I, I didn't fly this with the enhanced 3D? So it doesn't look the best because I didn't fly the flight with uh, building a 3D model in mind, but I just like to process it anyway just to see what it looks like because, um, you know, this looks pretty cool. I think I flew the drone. I was, like, standing over here somewhere. I think I was even a little further back. But, yeah, I mean, it's still useful to look at. Um, and, yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Um, you can share this with your organization in uh, ArcGIS Online or Portal. So uh, in order to do that, you would just go to uh, the Share tab. And for example, if I wanted to share this um, this mesh, I would need to share this as a scene layer. Um, so you would just click on Scene Layer here. And then on the right, it's showing you like what layers are applicable for scene layers. Um, so we would just click the mesh. And I'm just going to type... Um, construction site and I'm going to share with everyone and you need to make sure you're connected to ArcGIS online or or a portal um, and if you just share that you see I shared one a few minutes ago um, yeah if you just let this run I don't think it takes too long uh, I'll show I'll just show you what it looks like in ArcGIS online once this finishes because we basically should be able to view this in um, ArcGIS Scene Viewer, which is like the the internet, like the way you can view this on the web. Let's just give it a few seconds. These look like tires, but I don't think they are tires. All right, so it looks like it finished. So if I go over to ArcGIS Online and I'm just gonna like refresh this. Here's the construction site mesh and scene layer. Or um, So we have two items, a uh, scene layer, which is hosted and a scene layer package. So the scene layer is what, what, what we wanna look at. Like that's what we'll be able to see in the browser. So you say open in scene viewer. 
and here it is in scene viewer and we can zoom in and take a look um, at the product oh. actually I think we want to remove this uh, terrain 3d here there we go and to pan like this you need to right hold the right mouse button down and then just move the, the mouse around nice you can even read what brand it is cat yeah I just think this stuff's awesome this is really cool looks like they're burying something here that's interesting Huh, see the ladder? Alright guys, <laughs> I just wanted to show you how to do this. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.